What's going on guys? Welcome back to Peak Performance Engineering. I'm Brandon and today I want to go over a budget. <laughs> So as you guys know, on the last video, we just picked up a 94 Mustang GT convertible. And I'm, my plan is to be building this car for about the next year. And we're gonna use it next year on the Hot Rod Power Tour in 2023. Now, one thing that I like to do with all my cars that I've been doing for years now is once I get a car, first thing I do is I create uh, a budget, a little budget sheet in Excel. And usually what I do with this is uh, basically this is just used to keep track of all my expenses. So it's a very simple sheet, um, but basically just, uh, I, I think it's a lot uh, more efficient, a lot faster than, you know, using paper, you know, it used to be kind of the old school thing that guys would do, but a lot of guys don't do this. Uh, for example, my dad, he always has a bunch of cars. He's always working on stuff. And, you know, five years down the road, he really has no idea what he's got into the car. So when he goes to sell it, he's got no idea. Um, it's all just kind of a bunch of guesses and from memory, which doesn't really work, especially when we're building cars. There's so many little costs that come in. I mean, sometimes you just go to uh, the hardware store to, to spend five bucks, you walk out spending 50 bucks. So all those costs need to get added up. So let me kind of show you guys what I do with my budget sheet. And uh, basically it's just a pretty simple sheet that's gonna have you know your costs, usually the day uh, or the date that I made those costs where I made it, you know, was it O'Reilly's Auto Parts, was it Walmart, was it Amazon, whatever. And then uh, of course the amount, make sure you also include taxes in there too. A lot of guys will forget to put the actual taxes they paid and all that kind of stuff. And then this way, what this helps you with guys, when you do go to sell the car, you know exactly what you have into it. And you know, if you're making a profit or a loss, because for me with cars, uh, I always try to make sure I get a really good deal on a car up front. And then I try to also put together kind of a whole budget of maybe what I plan to do with the car, just to see if that number makes sense, right? So if we're gonna spend 5,000 on upgrades and we bought the car for 5,000, so now we got 10K, can we ever sell this car for $10,000? Is there a dream in the world or are you going to be married to the car? Because for me, I've already got one wife, I don't wanna have any more. So I always try to make sure that if I wanna break up with a car, which happens a lot, that I can do it. And usually I at least break even or 95% of the time, I usually end up making some money. For example, on the 65 Mustang, I wanna say we ended up buying that car for about $9,000. We put maybe um, 3,500 into it. So we had about 12,000, 12,500, and we sold it for 15,000. So we made a profit of about 2,500 bucks. And I'll, I'll go ahead and kind of show you guys that as an example right now. All right, so this is the kind of the sheet that I use to track. And mostly this isn't, it isn't specifically usually used for budgeting, but uh, for example, it just keeps tracks of a lot of the cars that I buy. And so again, it's a super simple sheet. Um, maybe what I'll do is I'll actually save this and I'll put it in a link uh, on the video down below so you can kind of use a similar sheet. But basically look, it's super easy, right? It might look okay, well, it's Excel. Maybe you don't really know how to use Excel, but trust me, it's very simple. Um, just start out. You know, usually I'll put who the seller was just in case I ever have any issues or I want to, you know, reach out to them again or find their number on my phone from five years ago. Uh, then again, cost items, the date, where, and then the money. And, um, you know, for example, on this uh, Corvette, we ended up spending 11.5. We sold it for 13. Boom, we made a profit, right? So um, pretty cool. 65 Mustang. So again, with this 65 Mustang, these first sets of costs are kind of what we actually spent uh, over the year that we had it or so. And then this blue line, and then the stuff below the blue line, this represents parts that I was going to buy. So this was kind of the latter part of the budget, things that I planned on doing to it. So this is like an extra, I think, couple thousand dollars. And basically where we were getting with this Mustang, the 65, was if I would have spent much more money on it, I think I would have never gotten the money back out. I would have been married to the car. Um, plus it just wasn't really the right car, didn't have AC and all that kind of stuff. But again, um, this actually right here includes this $2,500 for a bunch of different parts that I bought. And I'm actually kind of selling some of that off. So this doesn't really make sense. So anyway, it looks like sold it for 15, had 15 into it, didn't really make a profit. But in reality, I'm still saying, okay, we made about 2,500 because a lot of the parts are getting sold uh, back. And then here's the sheet that I just created for this new 94 Mustang we just picked up. So again, um, this is uh, paid 5,500 bucks for the car. In the last two weeks, I think we've already spent, what, over $3,000, $3,100. 
And uh, this, down below this black line, these are the parts that I have budgeted. So this is my plan to get this to a complete build. Um, 500 wheel horsepower, you know, all the appearance stuff done. Um, and of course, there's gonna be little stuff that pops up along the way, but this gives me a rough idea. Sorry, the camera's losing focus here, but basically 13,600 bucks is uh, what I think I'm going to have into it. I may end up being married to this car, but uh, that's okay. This is one that I, I wouldn't mind keeping for a while. Um, but these are the kinds of things you want to do, guys, and it's super simple, you know. Um, so in this sheet, I ended up adding kind of a category. That way I can filter, you know, by appearance items, lighting, wheels, tires, blah, blah, blah. Just so you kind of have an idea of what you're spending kind of for each category. Um, but again, it's just uh, it's just simply putting cost, you know, what's the item, um, you know, sometimes if I know where the link is to the part, I'll put that in there. And this does come a lot in handy too, right? Someone asks you, hey, where'd you get that? You know, and you can always look back to the sheet and refer and say, yeah, you know, I paid this amount, got it from Amazon, you know, six months ago, whatever. Um, so it really helps out, especially if you have like uh, returns or parts that stop working and you need to go back and like contact the seller. At least you've kind of got this all here and it's really easy to do. So you go and buy something today, just remember, okay, update my sheet, right? Just come in here, update the sheet, put where you got it, price, blah, blah, blah. And then once you do get to a point where if you ever sell it, you can pop that in here, just subtract this guy and this guy, and then you've got either profit or loss, right? So pretty simple, but I think that having a budget is a, a really big key to having and playing with these cars. So again, guys, if you're like me and you like building cars, building hot rods, having fun cars, tinkering, all that good stuff, definitely start to keep a budget. It's very, very simple. If you guys have any questions, you know, hey, reach out to me, hit me up on Instagram or Facebook. It's just Peak Performance Engineering. I'd be glad to help you guys out because actually my day job, uh, I use Excel a ton, so I have a lot of experience with it. But again, these are super simple spreadsheets that you can make, I mean, in literally just two or three minutes. Um, so, and if you don't have Excel, then I would say at least go with the old school method, uh, get some scratch paper and uh, go ahead and at least start to jot stuff down because it will help you out a lot. But I do think that Excel's just easier. If, for me, it's faster. If you got your computer loaded up, you're watching YouTube, get in there, click it, get it done, save it, and boom, it's saved forever, you know, pending any kind of, uh, you know, computer breakdown or whatever. So again, hopefully this helps you guys, but uh, like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. Check out some other videos uh, and uh, we'll catch you guys on the next one. Take care.